In my last video I mentioned that I used the PowerPC version of Ubuntu with the Unity desktop on my old clamshell iBook, but I didn't actually show it. So I wanted to make a little video here and just show you what it looks like. This is Unity on the clamshell iBook. And after seeing this on a much larger screen, it's kind of interesting to see it. I mean, everything is, uh, it looks good. This sidebar where all the icons are, these, these icons are so big compared to what I'm used to. Uh, but I know if you have more than fit on there, then there are little up and down arrows that appear on the top and the bottom. I just click on a folder. And as you can see, Nautilus fills up the whole screen, all these large icons. You've got all your usual folders here. Resizing and close buttons are in the upper left. I think overall, even though the, the icons are bigger, it does adapt itself pretty well to the, uh, the smaller screen. And as I said in the last, last video, this is 800 pixels by 600 pixels. So let's try Firefox. And it's not connected to the internet, so we just get the server not found message. But, uh, you know, all the usual things are here. You know, you've got your tabs. If I want to open any other programs, like, say, the terminal, you click on this Ubuntu button on the top here. And you get this search bar, so if I type terminal, Uh, it says there's no results, but that's that's probably because this is booting off the live CD and it has not been installed yet. If it was installed, then you could search for any program that was installed just by or or recent data also just by searching on this tool. And let me close that. So that's it, Unity on a clamshell iBook. I mean, it, it looks great in my opinion, but it's just uh, it's just so slow that it's unusable on this computer with a 366 megahertz processor. So this is why I decided to uh, try Lubuntu after this. And after that, I, I went back to uh, Mac OS 9.